Hey guys, I hope you had a good Christmas and a happy new year. I hope you got to spend time with friends and family. Um, but in this video, I wanna talk about what I got going on, some new products and some issues I'm having with inventory. I'm having a hard time, and I think most guys are, <clears throat> most of the country, to be honest with you, on um, material and inventory. I'm still waiting on a back order, a huge back order from Weaver Leather for some hardware, specifically the black hardware, any black hardware from my FD gear, uh, as well as some smaller pieces like uh, the D-rings, the three quarter inch smaller D-rings that I use for a lot of my products. So I'm running low on inventory, so just be patient if you order something, I'll contact you and let you know, hey, I'm still waiting on this, or I'll see if I can find it or, or see if I can source it somewhere else. Uh, as well as Springfield Leather, uh, I moved from Wicked and Craig New Latigo to Springfield Leather because Wicked and Craig was legit 18 weeks out. That is a long time. I love their leather, but I can't do it. I can't do it. Springfield has English Bridal, um, that, and I have, I've ordered their Black, Havana, and British Brown, and that's what, I, that's what I'm offering for my FD stuff, as well as my English Bridal belts. I still have not received the Black English Bridal yet, so I'm still waiting on that. I'll hit them up next week. All right, so let me talk about some of the new products. Number one is this hat right here, okay? Look at my hair though, don't judge me. These are gonna be on the website. I wanna talk about these hats. Don't quote me on this, but I believe they're Richardson 112s or Richardson something. It's a really nice hat, snapback, okay? They're gonna be this color, blue with the white in the back and all black. The leather patch is gonna be the leather patch, whole grain leather patch about this hat. It's a colleague of mine and uh, he does this on the side. I'll put a link in the description where you can see his stuff. He does really awesome uh, patchwork. I'm sorry, not patchwork, but he makes a lot of hats for different stations and their logo and stuff like that. Really, really nice work. So this is a local guy, sourced locally. If you buy my hat, you're supporting me in this channel as well as a local uh, vendor here as well. So link's gonna be in the description for the hats. The other thing I wanna talk about is the minimalist card wallet and they come in black and they come in dark tan the dark tan is it's on the website but this is dark tan all right this is a prototype bifold wallet if you guys know me who've been on this channel for a long time you know that wallets are my arch nemesis but i'm happy with this one i'm still running this one for a while before i'm put it on the, on the website, but this will be coming soon. This is the right thickness. Uh, it's gonna come with the natural on the inside and either dark tan on the outside or the black, like you just saw. All right, so these are gonna be uh, ready to go. I'm gonna have these in inventory and they're gonna ship within three, or four, three to five days. That, I also have these keychains or key fobs, I guess you call them, All right? I have, a whole, I have a whole bunch of different colors. And as you can tell, you can get them either with my logo or an initial or nothing at all. Options are there on the website. I'll be offering a whole bunch of different colors, like a gray, a white, a purple. Um, to be truth be told, these are gonna be from, they're not my scraps, but I have a lot of leather that I don't do anything with. So I'm just gonna be pumping out a whole bunch of key fobs if there's a color that's not on the website, let me know and I'll see if I can find one because I have a whole bunch of colors on there. Remember my, one of my last videos on the gun belt? Well, I think I solved it. This is my prototype that I'm running for a while. This is actually not Herman Oak Natural Vegetan. This is uh, Wicked and Craig Natural, uh, their H Latigo, their new Latigo, what they call it. Um, but uh, what I did different for this one, and I'll make a video on this soon, but I, I, I was a little bit more disciplined when I glued the two pieces together. As you can see, it's a lot cleaner, not like my last one, which is really irritating me. And that's primarily because I'm employing a new technique on gluing the two pieces together. I'll make a video on that. It's just being more careful, paying more attention to what you're doing and running the brush differently versus the way I was doing it forever. But I literally have no glue on the edges. None. And I went away from, I went away from 
from doing two nine ounce pieces. And I'm just simply making this the same way I make my suspenders, a nine on top and a five on bottom. It's still very stout. And I went ahead and I was debating this, but I incorporated my Soul Field version of my uh, belt keeps. And I'm just gonna do it like that because that's just what I do, it's my style. And it looks really clean and it doesn't get in the way because I, I, I have a belt that I, I have the same belt with that uh, Sam Brown stud there and it does not get in the way. It's really nice. Um, so I'm gonna put these on the website soon. Right now I'm thinking uh, natural like this, black English bridle, the Havana or the British Brown, okay? And I'll show you those three different colors. And that's basically what I, what I offer from my FD stuff is, is either the black, British Brown or Havana. A British Brown, Havana, and then a black, which like I said earlier, I'm still waiting for that. Or a natural, um, like, like you just saw there. That, that is what I'm gonna be basically offering for that. And I think I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it heavy duty belt. I'm gonna keep it simple, um, call it heavy duty belt. That's that. I also, I don't have one on me right now because I sold them, but English bridal belt, just one of those, a thinner piece, a nine ounce uh, English bridal belt, real clean. Um, the buckles are different though. They're not these heavy duty buckles, either a square buckle like that or a round buckle. And they come in both colors, nickel plated brass or just solid brass. You can have either color, either or color and shape. Next, I want to talk about my gentleman suspenders. These are my gentleman suspenders. And by the way, this is Herman Oak. Uh, they're Herman Oak Veggie Tan. And look how it patinas and gets a lot darker versus the Wicked and Craig Natural Latigo. So I'm always going to use a Herman Oak because I just love the way they're, 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 uh, they're Veggie Tan. Um, over time. I mean, this is it almost looks like a London tan almost, but this is the issue. I had to change it from those cheap suspender clips. When I say cheap, I mean in the sense that they don't really, if you bend down, they'll unclip. All right, so this is how I used to sell them with this, and you still have the option on the website to get it with this or a trigger snap on the bottom. And I've been running this in the shop with this trigger snap and it doesn't come out. I love it. This, when you bend down, it'll wanna pop out. But I think there's a place for something like this. Maybe groomsman party or something. You don't wanna be walking around with something super big like that. So I think it has its purposes. The other thing too, as far as these, uh, gentleman suspenders is I thought about going straight from this trigger snap and connecting it directly to this leather and bypassing this D-ring. But I like the way it is here because it adds another joint. You know what I mean? I don't think that's really an issue. I think that's, I'm maybe overthinking it, but I do like this way this feels. Although I don't think it's gonna be an issue if I go directly from here to here and bypass this whole little assembly. But I don't know, maybe to me it just mentally feels better that I have that extra joint. I don't know, I might be overthinking it. Oh, the other thing, coasters. All right. I have coasters, leather coasters. Whole bunch of different colors. I'll put a link in the description where you can see it. But uh, so you can see, you can choose your initial. All right. It comes in round or it comes in a square. Round or square, a whole bunch of different colors. They're four by four. And um, I sell them in sets of four. So if you want eight, you gotta buy two. If you buy one, that means you're buying four, a set. So it's on there, it's pretty clear. The other thing I wanna talk about is I added the black clutch bag. Okay. The black clutch. And I wanna talk about an issue that I'm having. Um, and that is, like I said, sourcing this material. Buckle guys out of these chains. I can't buy any more of these three quarter inch D-rings, I'm out. 
So I have to figure out what I'm gonna do because I can't sell them. So what I thought about doing is if you guys buy this and I don't have the chain, I'll either refund you, I'll you know, I'll contact you, but or I can make a leather strap, you know, with a little buckle or just one little leather strap with a smaller snap that you can just undo if you want to just take the, the whole snap off and carry it, you know, like this. Um, so I don't know, this is gonna force me to kind of figure out exactly how I'm gonna modify this. And I'm thinking just a leather piece. I don't know, I don't know, I have to figure it out. But uh, yeah, leather, the clutch comes in that dark tan and it comes in the black. But uh, that's all I got for you, I think that's it. I'm probably missing something. The two wallets, this is not on the website yet, but uh, I have to create the dies. I was running that for a little bit. The minimalist card wallet comes in the dark tan or comes in the black. And the coasters, key fobs, the new color on the clutch. This is coming soon. The heavy duty belt, English bridal belts. I'll put a picture up. I don't, I don't have one in, in the shop right now. The gentleman suspenders, I, I added the option of adding the trigger snaps versus the suspender clips. And one last thing is a lot of these things are gonna be in stock. In other words, I, I make them and I have some inventory, not a lot, I don't have a lot of space. So when you order these things, it's three to five days and you'll get it. Um, but in order for me to do that, I have to in-house have the black and the dark tan. And if you guys want special colors, like crazy, crazy colors, you want a clutch bag with like a blue or a gray or even a white or a pale green, like a Tiffany blue green. <clears throat> There's a, a bunch of crazy colors. If you want to commission that, there will be a link in the description. It'll be on the website too. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Probably like super, super custom work. And I have to order that leather because I don't have that much space to keep every single color option. So yeah, that's all I got for you. God bless you. Thank you for listening to my rambling. Happy New Year. And let me know in the comments below. Um, what are you excited about? I don't know why I said that. Have a good day. Bye.